day for 2-1 defeat. What's the, the overall verdict? Frustration and disappointment, I think, uh, is the overall feeling, I think, from the players, for the manager, for myself. The fact that we got back into the game second half and just didn't do enough to get that equaliser. And I think to go 2-0 down in the first half and obviously didn't do as well as we'd like, we just felt we could have got something out of the second half. So, disappointment. Yeah, tough first half. Do you have to give Portsmouth a bit of respect, a, a, a compliment as well, the way they went about it in, yeah, in that first half? Yeah, of course. I mean, they've, they've got very good players, Portsmouth, and new management team going in. I think that um, we just didn't do what we wanted to do in the first half, in fairness, you know, and, and in Forts, we, we lost a couple of goals, could defend them better, um, and it's obviously hard to, to do two goals down to try and come back from that, but we certainly gave it the best we could in the second half, and just felt them actually getting a man sent off didn't actually help us. <laughs> Sometimes you find that in football, that them getting a man, we had momentum at the time, and we felt we were really on top of the game, and sometimes when somebody gets sent off, they'll just sit in two banks of four, and, and it was hard for us to, to break it down. We've got to do a better job of trying to break it down and create more chances, get more balls into the box, but we didn't really do that. You made the tactical switch at half-time as yeah. well. Were you happy how that played out? Yeah, definitely. I mean, the manager said that to the, the players. It's always, even before the game, trying to work out what's the best system to make. Um, and play and I think at half time going to the 4 3, three definitely helped um, we obviously got the goal and we just felt that we had the momentum with the changing system but again we just couldn't get that second goal that we wanted and what a good goal as well Nathaniel Ogbetta who's been so heavily involved yeah. since he came to the club at both ends of the field yeah. setting up goals and gets his first league goal today nice moment for him no I mean that, that's the positive for him um, he was really frustrated with his own performance in the first half, you know, because of the, the levels that he set, but we just told him to keep going and keep trying to do the right things, and he's come up with a, a really good finish, and it's his first league goal, obviously, last week. <laughs> he nearly scored, so it's um, there's a positive within that, and hopefully he can kick on and get more confidence from it. Um, and again, it gave us a good platform second half, but we just, as I said a couple of times, we just couldn't get that next goal that we really wanted. With the team selection, Dave, Harry Chapman and Sean Worley both starting on the bench, yeah. the, the joint top scorers. Is that a tough one to, to do in some ways, to leave both of them out of the starting eleven? Yeah, I, th I think the manager showed that because we've got a good squad at times that we can obviously rotate and it always depends on the game and you'll always choose a team that you think is going to get a, a result. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. And I think, um, yeah, I mean, they're always a threat, you know, but again, this game, and we've rotated quite a lot recently and it's all it seemed to work out for us. Today we didn't get the result we wanted to. And as I say, the sending off actually helped them more than it helped us, which is, sounds a bit ridiculous, but that's the way that it went. But no, I mean, both come on today um, and we know they've both got quality, so we'll just wait and see the next game and take it for there. Yeah, what did you actually make of, of the red card, the challenge on, on Harry Chapman for the red? Yeah, it, it, it did look as if his foot was up. You know, it did look... Uh, I mean, I don't think he's deliberately tried to, 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 to do Chappie, but I think that his foot was up and he's went over the top of the ball a little bit. Uh, and if he caught him more, it would have been a real sore one. So it looked like a red from where we were standing, but I'd need to see it again to, to clarify that. Yeah, chances hard to come by, weren't they, as well, against the ten men. Lots of the ball, lots of yeah. possession, but... Difficult to, to fashion those clear cut openings. Definitely. I mean, as I say, first half we didn't play the level that we can, and again, you give credit to Portsmouth, but we just didn't play the, as good as we could do. Second half we came in, different system, we were creating more, but then the minute they're sending off was they've obviously got something to hold on to. They get into two banks of four, and it is difficult to break down, but we've got to be better to break that down moving forward. It's only a fifth defeat in, in 22 league games since the yeah. appointment of. Of Steve Cottrell, does that again just underline what a good run, the consistency uh, yeah. that, that's been prevalent here at Shrewsbury Town? Yeah, I mean, everybody can see the influence that the manager had since he came in and the upsurge in results that he's obviously got. And again, we're just so disappointed that we couldn't obviously get something from today. And we did feel, even at half time, he said that look, 2 0, we get the next goal, we'll give ourselves a chance. The players definitely done that, took on the information that he gave. Um, and again, unfortunately, it just wasn't our day. No Josh Daniels in, in the starting eleven today, no. owing to the knock. Is, is that serious? Is he likely to keep him out for a while? Yeah, I mean, it's just obviously it, um, he was cramping up the other night in the, the game and obviously took him off. So he, he'll be out in the next maybe couple of games, not sure. It's just, again, like any injury, depends how it settles and how it, re, it responds to treatment. So hopefully he'll be back soon. But we don't want to put a time limit on it yet. And just finally, Dave, of course, you've been heavily involved with the youth setup since coming to the football club. Yeah. Uh, three academy yeah. players. Yeah, exactly. 
on the bench today, which is great for them. Oh no, it's fantastic. Listen, it's great for them to be around it and experience it, and I think they deserve to be there because they've been doing really well with the 18s. I mean, Tom's only a first-year scholar, Charlie and Jaden are second-year scholars, and these opportunities, it just shows that as a football club, we want to give young players an opportunity to be around the first team. Uh, it wasn't the right time to bring them on today, but you never know in the future it might be. But no, it's good for our football club, and, and most importantly, good for those kids to be involved uh, around about the first team. Oh,